Well, good day, mechanics. Welcome back to Farm Mechanics Simulator from 2015. There's a new one coming out. I can't wait. It's not been released, of course. But uh, anyways, let's continue on here. We've only 33% completed. We've got a long way to go. So we'll do a few more, uh, few more repairs today. Maybe 7 or 20 or 50. I don't know. Maybe 10. So this one is... The client is reporting that the tractor is getting dangerously hot while driving. Ooh, that's not good. Find out the cause of the problem. Repair the damaged elements. All right. Don't give us much of a clue there, but I'm... Whoa. Whoa. I'm thinking... Oh, my goodness. Engine is probably needing some coolant. Um, let's do... No. Condition check. Fuel tank. Uh, where's... There's no radiator on these things? What? Air filter. Could be that bunged up. Well, that seems good. Ventilator. Well, that's good. Yeah, there's no radiator. I just realized that there is no radiator on these. That is weird. Could be exhaust blocked up. Nope. Well, we'll just check everything here. No. Nope. Fan belt? I don't even think there's a fan on this thing. How do they cool this thing? <laughs> That's an interesting question. They forgot about radiators. Lines are probably good. Oil filter. It's one line right there. Uh, let's see if we get it. Well, that all seems good. Check the glow plug covers. Well, now I'm kind of thinking, hmm, what's going on here? There is another fan belt here, if I can get down to here. No. Water pump. There's your culprit. Kind of was thinking something water. I'll just check everything else while we're here, I guess. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Water, water pump, water pump. Uh, where am I going? Wait a minute, this has changed. It's different now. We got a new garage? Oh, maybe we got a new garage. I fixed it. I don't know what it needed, but uh, all good. Water pump and timing belt. No radiator, though. Interesting. All right. Oh, no, we're going to hit that one. That is a repair. Out you go. All right. To the next one. Ah, oh, no cabber. Client is reporting that he can't raise the tractor hitch. Help him with this problem. Find the cause of the problem. Repair the damaged element. Okay, can't raise the hitch, eh? Well, probably something back here. Oh, no, hang on a sec now. I went to the wrong mode there. Condition check. Oh, there's some problems. We'll just check her all while we're here, because sometimes it could be something else. Probably the other side, too. Oh, see? Something else. Aha. Uh -huh. Bet you this one's red. Oh, yellow. Okay. Come on, I just want the spring. Hello. Well, there we found some more problems. Okay.
I'm trying to get the spring. There. Goodness. I haven't done uh, too much three point hitch repair stuff. Okay, that should be all the damaged parts. Let's see if we can repair. Uh, that, yes, that, yes, that, yes. Everything else is pretty good. Maybe we'll just do a quick repair on that one, too, for them. Whoa! Their mouse is so weird on this game. All right. Uh, assembly mode. Put that link on first. Shock absorber. Interesting. A spring and the bottom spring base. And the shock absorber. Oh, come on. Spring. Spring base. Oh, keep doing that. And repaired. Yay. I don't have to do test drives. That's fine by me. <laughs> Those test drives are terrible. I'm going to do them all the time. But anyway, that's all right. Oh, Johnny. Johnny's in the shop. Cladding asked for the timing system to be replaced. Oh, interesting. Place the whole system along with the water pump. Ooh. Okay. It should be on this side. Oh, the other side. Oh, man, I cannot get used to that. Uh, no, it was on the right side. So, let's do some condition checking here. Uh, three. Come on. Belt's no good. What about this belt? That one's fine. This isn't timing, but we'll just check them over here. Okay. Now, I said replace, but can we repair? Well, we can repair the water pump, maybe. Oh, we need a new belt. Uh, where's my computer? There it is. It's got a book still. Ha! Timing belt, or whatever they called that. Uh, let's see. This should be engine. Why do these things all look dirty and used? V-belt timing belt. Um, uh, yeah, I guess that was the right one. Okay, whoa, man. Water pump. Timing belt. All right. And another one repaired. Sweet. That should have been 28. This should be 29, I think. Am I right, 29? Pair number 30. Oh, the last one was 29. Well, it wasn't too far off. We'll go to maybe 35 today. Uh, the client is complaining about the engine working irregularly. He specs the glow plugs. Find the cause of this problem. Okay. Well, let's do some inspecting here. They're probably under these. I think i got to take all this off because these will be fine. Maybe the cable thingies. No, oh, they're good. Okay. Let's take those off and the covers off. We haven't had this off before, have we? Okay. This looks weird. There should be valves in here, but apparently that's not. Oh yeah, some issues there, that's for sure. That one I guess is good. And that one's no good. Okay, well. That's different. Glow plugs like that. Okay. Uh, where am I going over here? Can we? Uh, no, I'm lost again. <laughs> lost in my own shop. 
I am lost in my own shop. Oh my goodness. Doesn't look the same, I guess. So. Oh, I can't repair those glow plugs. I guess it's a replace. So. Glow plugs. Here they are. We need two. Yes, $60. That's what they quoted us, I think, wasn't it? $60 budget, yes. Oop, no wait. Where am I going? Here we go. What? The heck's it doing? I don't want to repair anything. What are you talking about? There, I bought new ones. How come it's letting me repair it now? What? That was weird. Yes, we Loctited and torque those cover bolts down. Nuts, sorry. And ignition cables. Okay, that should be it. Is she running better, bud? Apparently. Alright. Not too bad at all. What else we got now? Combine, maybe? How did I know that? What the crap? <laughs> Client is reporting that the fuel usage is far from norm. Uh, find the cause of the problem. It's probably a wore out engine there, bud. I fix the cause of the problem for me. Oh, test drive. Okay. Well, I'm thinking engine, wheels, tailgate. Interesting. What the heck's the engine in this thing? There we go. Okay, let's see here. Air filter, probably. No. What is checker all over here? External air filter. Is it plugged up, plugged up? No, it's not. Interesting. Burning up too much fuel. There's a radiator on this one. Oh, fuel filters. Interesting. Well, let's do some more checking while we're here. There's the expensive part. Ah, problems there too. See? Should be able to repair that, hopefully. This guy had problems? No, oh, he's good. Oil compressor. Primary cleaning filter. It's good. That's good. I guess we kind of found our problems here. Major disassembly. That's about six hours labor right there. Okay, let's see what we can fix here. Should be able to fix everything. Yes. Yes. And everything else is over 80%, so I'm happy with that. All right. Injection pump. Compressor, some lines, maybe. Fuel lines and fuel filter. Oh, and this little guy here too. Fuel feed pump, interesting. All right, now we gotta do a test drive. That's a different door, so we're in a different shop here, interesting. Needs to be assembled. Oh, what did I forget? Uh oh, I forgot something. Wait a minute, why can't I? That was interesting. Uh, let's see, what did I miss? Oh, guess we need the lines here. Nope. Oh my goodness. Come on. What the heck? Lines, thank you. 
Oh my goodness. Okay, test drive. Here we go. Complete all tasks. What? Did I still miss something? What else did I miss? The cause of the problem. Hmm. Well, let's see. We must have missed something here. Um, condition check. I guess we'll just check everything. <laughs> there must be a filter or something we missed somewhere. Uh, this is exhaust. No oil or something. Hmm. Whoop. Well, if it's overheating too, that'll be burning up a lot of fuel, but I don't know if that would be a cause, but... Ah. Rad pipes, really? Husk remover, that sh should be alright. Rad pipes, that's... Interesting. But the oil pan, let's just check it. That's all good. Hydraulic pumps. Belts. Um, okay, well. Oh, I gotta take all this stuff off. Oh, the easy stuff to come off. All right, let's see if we can fix the pipes. Wrap some tape around it or something. Maybe. Um, repair. Interesting, isn't it? Hmm. Good there. This should fix her now. I don't know if anything else wrong with it, so... All right, now can we take her on the test track? Hopefully it's a different track this time, too, with this new shop here. Yay! All right, let's take her for a test drive. It's probably the exact same track. But you never know. Move the camera around on this, that's interesting. Braking sort of seemed to work. Oh, this is the steering test. I think I failed. <laughs> Yeah, same track. These things don't steer worth crap, though, I must say. Terrible. Alright, that should have her fixed. That was a different one, but I just missed a part. That's all it was. And repaired. Okay, it's 32 coming on up. Thirty-two. Clinics are reporting that a uh, broken alternator belt. Help them replace it. Fifty dollars. So that's an easy one. Alternator belt. Let's just check them. And yep. Okay. 
So, I guess that's something again we can't fix. Yeah. Uh. Engine. Timing belt. Oh, I can't remember which one it was now. Isn't that awful? Um, how do I look? Uh, ch -ch -ch locker. V belt. Yeah, okay. I believe. All right, that was a quick and easy one. Uh, hopefully, that's it. And there we go. That should fix them. Sweet. Out you go. Back to the field there, bud. Alrighty. What are we on now here? Should be 33. Yeah, 33. So, client is reporting that the cabin needs to be restored. Help him. Really? Interesting. Replace the worn out elements of the cabin. Oh, well, yeah, it looks like she's in a fire there, bud. Well, let's see what we can do for ya. Well, what's so wore out in here? It all looks brandy new. Oh, that guy's not in too good a shape. Check the little knobs, even, because you never know. You might have a bad knob. <laughs> yeah, see? We got a bad knob. <laughs> oh, boy. Might have a bad cap. Bad steering wheel. Yeah. All right. I got her. We got this. Okay, so pretty much everything has to come out. Wore out the steering wheel, I think. Yeah. Okay, let's see what we can repair their side. Let's see. Well, that. Oh, that was an expensive repair for that thing. All right. We fixed. Now, I don't think that there is anything else. Well, let's just check a little deeper here. Okay, yeah, I think we're good. Alright, assembly mode. Let's put the, the, the wheel back on. The plug. Actually, I should do the other one first. And the, the good knob. <laughs> I can't believe the knob was wore out. Alright, I think that's everything. Did I missed something. Repaired. We're good. Oh, yeah, we're good. All right. Should be 34. Oh, combine. 34. The client is complaining about the combine heats up during longer operation. Find out what the cause of the problem. Okay, so. 
Probably filters. Uh, let's check the engine stuff here. Ah. Aha! Well, I'm gonna go on a hunch that's all that's wrong. So, let's see here. Unclog the radiator. That's probably what it was. All right. Quick cure. Quick cure. All right. We're going to go to 35 today. And that's 35 coming up. We'll do 35. And then uh, next time we get together and do this, we'll uh, do 36. So one more for today. Another combine, same one. Oh, still overheating. Client, client is reporting the oil check light is lit. However, the oil seems to be normal. Cause, uh, cause may be problem with pressure. Too much pressure. Well, let's see here. Condition check. Well, that's good. We'll just check everything. Why not? Shouldn't be a fuel problem, but hey, you never know. Oil. No. Okay, I think everything on that side's good. Let's just keep checking. Because you never know. Keep on a checking. Keep on a checking. Diagnosing. Well, we're all green so far. Let's get. Oh. External air filter. Oil pressure problem. So it's probably nothing to do with anything air related. Alright, we'll just give her a quick diagnosis here. Ah. Aha. Aha. Nothing else to check here. Um. Well, uh, oh, can't check that belt apparently. Okay, well. Take this off. And of course the, oh. Interesting, I gotta take that. Oh, maybe I can just take this off. No, I gotta take that belt off. Then I gotta get that belt off, which is probably under here. think. Uh, well, you know what? Now I don't know. Huh. Oh, there we go. Okay, this one. No, which would mean it's on this side. Should be right there. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now I can't go to that one, so now I gotta go up here. That's kind of neat. I wonder if we'll ever get some problem with the feed mechanism on this thing, all, all this stuff here. Okay, can we rebuild that pump? I think we can. What's our budget on this? 400. Ooh, bet you it's 400 to fix this thing. Oil pump. 313. Pretty much 400. <laughs> okay, let's get that assembled and then we gotta screw this back together. 29 foot pounds, or inch pounds, sorry, on these foot pounds, foot pounds probably. Uh, belt. 
And down here, and... Belt. All right. Whoop. Are we good? No, we missed something. We missed something. Oh, well, let's do a bit of investigating under here, maybe. That was good. Shouldn't be anything to do with this, though. That's a long belt, too. Holy. Something else. It's all connected there anyways. I'm just going to check these. I'm sure they're fine. Yeah, I don't think there's any problems here with oil. Okay, well, let's get back up to the engine here. What else do we got? Missed a belt there. It's good. Yeah, it's not too bad there. Well, interesting. I think I missed some of the stuff you can't do a check on. I think we missed anything here. Well! I don't know. What happens if we dump the oil out of it, but no oil in it? Didn't look like it needed any, but maybe they just want it topped up. No, I don't think that's part of the problem. Um. Whoop. I'm gonna do that. Don't think I missed any parts. Oh, did I miss that? I missed something there. Oh, I did. Okay. Um, where does that go? Oh, yeah, over here. Duh! <laughs> this big thing here that looks like a ghost. <laughs> that might help. Oh, darn, I just sold that. Oh, what the heck happened there? Oil penetration tank. My bad. I don't know why it keeps opening up that screen. It shouldn't be, because it's asking me to, uh, you know. It shouldn't be selling the parts like that on me. Um, oh. Uh, okay, do they not have that to buy? Uh oh. Oil filter. Oil penetration tank, I think it was called. I can't believe I just sold that. That was total clicking error there. Oh, come on, harvesters. I guess I better go to there. That would help. I didn't even see that. Um, oh, they have used parts. Oil penetration tank. There, that'll work. There we go. Now we might have her figured out here. Gotta go to the other side here, though. Yep, just didn't put a part back in. That was my fault. There, now we should be golden. All right, goodness. 35, okay, so... We are good for today. Thanks again for watching. We'll go back into 36 here whenever we get back to this here again. And uh, let's just have a quick see what 36 is going to be. Uh, Johnny Deer. 
Johnny Deer. Replace injection pump. Okay, well, we'll do that next time. Anywho, thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later, and you guys have a good day, and happy mechanicin'.